Hey everyone, just gonna do a short little let's play of a fun game that I played a lot when I was a kid. Um, today I'm gonna be doing uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on Sega Game Gear. Um, when I was a little kid, um, my older brother had a Game Gear. He was probably the only person I've ever known who's actually owned one, and this was one of the games he had on it, aside with um, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which was, if you know what I'm talking about, the game was fucking impossible, and The Lion King, which was pretty decent. Um, so I'm just doing a test run of just doing my voice, and perhaps it's a pretty short game. Um, game I believe came out in 94, and as you can see, done by a band Pesto. Um, this is the opening screen, and I'm just going to skip this. Here I am, press start button, um, option, and I'll leave it at normal, match points only for the versus game. So I'm just going to do a story mode, because it's pretty short, it's seven levels. Call me a lazy worm. What a bitch. So, boss for this level is King Sphinx. So then you get to pick your ranger, you move Alpha 5 around, and you just select whoever you want. I believe with the 2 button. Shows you a little scene of the morphing. And then, it's kind of like a hybrid between a beat-em-up and a fighting game. In the sense that you're fighting lots of weak enemies at once, but then when bigger enemies drop down, it basically becomes a decent little 8-bit fighting game. Um, the controls are pretty simple. Um, button 1 punches, start obviously pauses, and 2 kicks. Um, there are special moves you can do, but they're all they're all quarter circle forward motion. So quarter circle forward one for the blue ranger does this um multi spear jab. Quarter circle forward two does a charging stab. And to do the third special move, you have to hit quarter circle and then both buttons. And oh my, you don't get thrown around. What that one does is it's a upwards lance spin, which can hit enemies who are jumping or are very close to in front of you. So as you can see, I'm just fighting putty patrollers. There's a reason to kill them, because every time you kill one, it restores some energy, so it's very good. So it's good. Uh, Goldar hops down and occasionally you have to kick his ass. He's kind of annoying. You never actually have to, like, fully on fight him in this game. But he always loves to fucking jump down and just give you shit for about a minute or so, and then he just flies off, and then... Well, these putties are stronger, because they're green, and they've got, like, a little bit more health. Come on, you bitch. One thing I do like about this game is the graphics are actually pretty decent. Not only for an 8-bit um, game, but in the sense that um, the character sprites themselves are... Um, oh, here's King Sphinx. He's a bitch. He likes to do that invisible thing where you can't hurt him. God damn it, stop doing that. Um, but anyway, um, like I was saying, um, the character sprites themselves are actually fairly um, close to what they were on the TV show. I know the Super Nintendo version of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, all the characters were like way too fucking muscled, and they were all palette swaps in the Red Ranger. So like stuff like the Pink Ranger having a skirt and things like that weren't included. I almost want to redefine my controls right now, because I'm using a 360 controller to play this, and it's kind of hard to do this with the stick. Especially because King Sphinx does not want to stop moving. God damn it. He keeps doing that invisible shit. I'm trying to just shove my spear up his ass and it's not working. Come on. Okay, well, he's dizzy. Yeah, like Street Fighter. Like in Street Fighter, you hit him enough, they can get dizzy. It can happen to you too, and it really sucks. Especially, usually happens when they've been wailing on you a lot, and then they just... Ugh. One annoying thing is that the enemies can block, but you can't. There's no way for the player to block. And trust me, it's not like in Street Fighter where you just hold back or something. It's, um... You know, you just can't. Like, start doesn't do it, because that pauses it. You made my gnarly monster fall. Now you'll pay when he gets tall. <laughs> I'm just going to change my, um... Settings real quick, just to, um... Make sure that, um... So this is easier to play. I don't want to get wiped or something, because, um... I'm not using a D-pad. So, sorry about that. Okay. Thank you. 
And then you get the Zord summoning sequence, which is actually kind of interesting for an 8-bit version. So yeah, you get the Megazord and even it doesn't just walk in, it like starts off in tank mode and that's even one of the special moves you can do. Um, Quarter Circle 1 is the um, horn lasers. Quarter Circle tur 2 tur um, takes you in the tank mode and you just try to ram them. So yeah, I'm fighting Golar right now. Just And Quarter Circle 1 and 2 does the sword finisher. Fucker, he's going to fly off pansy. So yeah, the sprites on this, um, even the Megazord are pretty decent. Um, it's fairly well detailed for an 8-bit, and the even though the legs aren't very um, well defined as to what Zord they are, they do stay on the same leg, even if you uh, switch to the other side of the screen. So that's a nice little touch, especially for an 8-bit machine, because not very even, not many even 16-bit uh, games will mirror the sprite cor correctly. Like in, um, what, what comes to mind is, um, Link to the Past, where um, Link's supposed to be left-handed, but he um, can change what hand he's using his sword in, depending on what direction you're facing. Ooh, that did quite a bit. Ooh, let's just see if I can cheese him to death with this. Because sometimes you have to cheese, because the enemies are just re relentless, even on normal. Even on easy, they can sometimes kick the shit out of you. Ah, that's what you get for doing that block shit. Ah, come on. Come on. Oh, this is really good. probably get me. Or not. Ooh, just one more good hit. We should do it. Wow, he went right through my fucking sword there. Oh, this is not going well. Oh, just barely I hit him right as I was getting out of that. And then, yep, stage clear, it shows what ranger you used in your Megazord. Send the nasty knight. <laughs> and then, yep, nasty knight. So, considering the black ranger fought him in the show, that's who I'm going to use. And of course, each ranger has different um, specials. Um, oh, you start off fighting him on this one. Um, his quarter circle uh, forward is his, um, he uses his uh, power axe cannon to shoot a fireball. Um, his quarter circle two is a kick combo, and his quarter circle both is an overhead axe swing. I think he's one of the few rangers who actually has a hand-to-hand -hand, uh, special, or rather, well, it's kicking. Yeah, I'm just gonna get him right in the corner, just keep kicking him. You have to be fucking relentless, and yeah, he jumps away, so then you have to fight putties. But it's good because it gives you a chance to get your health back. As you can see, I fully healed all the damage that he did. Oh, we're lagging a bit here. Damn. I don't know, that might have just been Fraps, I don't know. I'm surprised Fraps could even record Fusion, because I didn't... Some programs Fraps doesn't like to record, but... Um, Fusion is one of those, which is very handy. Because I can emulate a lot of stuff on here. Really, probably gonna have to press the shit out of this video. It's fraps. The run, the main reason that's um, stopped me, and what really kind of stopped my Mega Man X5 uh, let's play, is that fraps just produces huge fucking files. You have to compress the shit out of them. Like a 10 second clip is like 60 something MB, and that's a lot. Whereas I was uh, the last video I just shot, the Mortal Kombat 2 codes one. That one was like 60 MB for like an 8 minute video. Killing putties. Come on. Good. Big guy came back. But now I've got lots more health. He's half dead. Oh, that kick combo is just so nice. He only can block like the first hit of it. The only problem with the axe swing is it's kind of hard to do unless you're right on top of him. the range on that. Haha, <laughs> can into the crotch. And yeah, she's gonna say the same crap about I killed her monster. Oh well, this it is kinda cool how it does that and then the You see the ranger against the big silhouette. That's actually kind of neat. This is actually probably one of the better um, Power Rangers games and 
And I've played quite a few of them, and there are some that are just... Not to say bad, but just well, boring. And get back in the Megazord and let's go. Oh, you son of a bitch. I always I always find the Zord site fight sequences harder, because usually half the time the uh, monster never stays there. Like gold he'll they'll tag out with Goldar. But I don't think you get a whole lot of health back. You're not like constantly beating up putties to get a whole bunch of health back. So I'm just gonna spam my sword, because he's gonna spam his. Except he's blocking it like a little bitch. Come on. I really don't want to get my ass kicked on camera, but it's looking likely. This is only the second stage. Oh! Oh, that was really lucky. Oh, there we go. Come on. Trying to even it out a little. Oh, bullshit, my sword was a finishing move. God damn. I guess that's why they don't always use the sword right away in the show, because apparently according to the game it only does like a fraction of the enemy's health. That's why they don't just open the fight with that. And then he blew up. Stage clear. Um, Tommy from this moment on- oh, this is the whole Green Ranger part. We're at the fight the Green Ranger. <laughs> Evil Green Ranger. And let's see, who do I pick? Pick Red Ranger. So yeah, first quarter circle forward, we've got a uh, jumping sword slash. For his uh, quarter circle uh, two, we've got uh, just a uh, charging horizontal slash. And quarter circle both, um, if I can get up is a combination where he does one then two, so it's kind of lame in that, seeing as you could do that on your own. It's nice if you can get enemies in it, but it's kind of a pain. Especially when they keep blocking. God damn, even these putties are... Purple putties. Wouldn't it have been interesting in the show if the putties were, like, different colors? Maybe Rita just had a bunch of, like, rainbow-colored putties. I mean, I know that would have conflicted with stock footage from Zero Ranger, but... Who gives a shit? Come on. Die! Just walk right into my Oh, now they're... Well, now we're going. And I gotta fight fucking Goldar again. Basically a fuck. It's like, if Power Rangers was wrestling, then Goldar would be a jobber. Where he exists solely for the heroes to beat the shit out of. To look like they never ever kill him in the show. Ever. He never dies, but Rita keeps sending him to do important shit, even after he gets to the point where he's proven that he sucks at everything. So, yeah. Evil Green's a son of a bitch because he has moves that um, you don't get to use when you get him. Like that sword stuff, you can't do any of that. You can do like the, uh, the dragon dagger moves, but not the sword because he loses that when he becomes good. You can still do the evil Hadoukens, though. Yeah. Come on! Stop blocking! Just trying to get him to die. Oh good, he's stunned. Oh, you only have to get him down to about... five, six of his health. Alright, that's cool. Magic wand, make my Goldar and my Ranger. God damn it. Two on one. But it only shows Goldar, which is like, I don't give a shit about Goldar. I'll have to fight his dumbass later. Okay, let's skip this. Although, it's cool how it does, like, the Dark Canyon, like, from the episode of, in the show, when it was at nighttime when they fought. Well, it was at nighttime. Rita had, um, eclipsed the sun... Because somehow she found out that the Megazord is solar powered, which is something they completely pulled out of their ass for that episode. So the Megazord was getting the shit beaten out of it because it was all weak because it had no power. Because apparently the entirety of it is solar powered. 
Like, there's no reserve or there's no backup power source in case, I don't know, Rita sends a monster at night or something. Damn it, get out of the way. I don't want to fight you, Goldar. Well, at least I got my health back for Evil Green. Oh, I went right through that. That was bullshit, I'll admit. Yeah, see those Hadoukens? You can even... Tommy only ever did that in the show when he was evil, but when you're... But in the game, even after he becomes good, you can, um, do that. Yeah, that fucking jumping crotch leg throw. That shit's so pow overpowered. I'll show you once I get him. God! I'm, not I'm knocked out. See, I had more trouble during the Megazord fights, because... The only move the Megazord really has that's worth using that does a lot of damage is the sword, but it's really hard to hit people with. Wow, I think I'm gonna lose this fight. I know I don't have to deplete his health bar, but I don't even think I'm gonna be able to do that much damage to him. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start this fight over again. I'm sorry, guys. Wow. Yeah, Zordon's like, please, continue. And then at least it starts over from the sequence that you were on. You don't have to do the entire level over again, which is handy. I didn't want to sit it on easy because I didn't want to feel like a complete pansy that I can't beat a... What, you, you can't play a Power Rangers game on fucking normal? You, this is normal where the enemies block shit constantly. I would fucking hate to see how this is hard. I mean, I guess it... I mean, I guess it makes up for the fact that the game is short, so let's just make it hard. But this was also on Game Gear, so it's like... You didn't want games that took more than like an hour and a half to beat because it would probably... The batteries probably would not last in it. That was one problem, is the fucking Game Gear took six fucking double A's, and you got maybe two to two and a half hours on it if you were lucky, because you couldn't turn the backlight off, so it was just a fucking major resource drain. Not to mention, like, batteries weren't typically sold in- I don't think they were sold in packs of like six or eight back then, so you had to buy two packs just to get enough juice. You basically had to get the AC adapter if you were a serious Game Gear player, and my brother did have that. So I did actually, I remember playing this game as a kid, tethered to the wall, because there were no fucking batteries for this thing. Shit, I'm gonna lose again! God damn it, Tommy, stop being such a cheap orb. It'd be so nice, you know, fucking a fighting game where you can't block, but your enemies can. I'm gonna lose again. Yep. If I lose one more time, I'll just do a jump cut to where I win. Because you don't want to watch me do this fight over and over and over again. I, I'm seriously telling you, this game's a lot harder than it looks. Just because that whole you cannot block thing, but the enemies can. Because they will block everything, with basically whenever they feel like it. It's very hard to get them into a... It's easier as a ranger, because the Megazord has a... And <laughs> now you're just seeing me beat the shit out of Golda. Let's just spam the sword. Let's see if I can just win by being a cheap son of a bitch. No, because fucking Tommy's gonna fucking not let me do it. See, now I can't fucking do it. Because a, range, a ranger's a lot more agile than the fucking Megazord, where I'm way slow and I can't fucking get any moves out quickly. Like, on Goldor it works because he's slow, but on Tommy, no, not so much. I'm trying to get fucking moves out and it's just not happening. I can't even... Oh, wow. This is really not going well, guys. I really apologize about this. Yeah, I'm gonna lose again unless I get really lucky with this last sliver of health I got. Yep, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna do a cut. <laughs> I have to, because I don't want to keep doing this. Okay, I'm back. Um, wow. That fight, almost, I almost lost it again. Apparently you only have to get Tommy to about half of his health, and then he just runs away. I couldn't even get him that much. I almost fucking lost again. So now we have to fight the Dragon Zord, which, ironically, is probably going to be a lot fucking easier than fighting Tommy was. So yeah, stage 4, Dragon Zord. Alright, let's kick his 
mess. Eh, I guess it really doesn't matter which ranger I pick, because I'm going to be in the Megazord, aren't I? Yeah, I'll just go with pink. Yep. Immediately summon Megazord. Watch this be a hell of a lot easier. How I beat Tommy, basically, is I just kept doing the, um, quarter circle, uh, two attack, where I just kept doing this over and over and over again, mixing it up with the occasional sword, and it still barely worked. Yeah, this is a lot easier because the Dragon Sword's a lot bigger and slower. I can actually hit it with my sword, just get get it in the corner. Wow, my sword went straight through him. And there's, like, barely any chipping damage in this. Just kick his ass. God damn, Dragon Sword sucks. See, I'm having a much easier time when I'm fighting something that's, you know, the same speed as me. Because the rangers are a lot faster than anything else. Meaning it's really hard when all your attacks are really slow and have lots of, uh, wind-up frames to get a move in and... Oh, he's gonna fucking... Oh, what the hell? Come on. There we go. I kicked the shit out of the dragon's orb. Oh, so now I have to fight him again on foot. Okay. So, Pink's uh, quarter circle forward is the... She slashes with her bow. Uh, two is that flip kick. And I believe... Does she not have a... Can she not fire? Oh, there we go. Um, doing both has her jump up in the air and fires the bow. But it's kind of at that weird angle. So it's kind of actually hard to hit anything with it. Yeah. Tommy's no match when you're somebody who's fast enough to kick his ass. Let's get in there. Because his evil attacks take a minute to... But if you're fast enough, you can get in. See, I'm having a much easier time now that I'm somebody faster. Itch through me. There, beat his ass. Cutscene time. Shoot being controlled like a puppet. I don't think they say that in the show. So yeah, he shoots the um, sword of darkness and it breaks Rita's spell over Tommy. Good lord, he looks like a caveman. I mean, good lord. So yeah, you unlock the Green Ranger to use in the rest of the game, which makes sense. So yeah, now we're just back to fighting random monsters. Stage 5. Shock, shock. See? Green Ranger. So because I just unlocked him, gotta use him. Also, it's because um, this monster was the first monster they fought after they got the Green Ranger, so it's only fitting. Even though he barely was in that episode. Um, so yeah, quarter circle uh, one is the evil Hadouken that he gets to keep for whatever reason. Uh, quarter circle two is that weird crotch, uh, leap, lunge, throw thing where he... And then both is, um, a uh, little combo with his dragon dagger, so you don't have a sword anymore. Oh great, putties. I'll just throw Hadoukens at him. <laughs> Yeah, see how Tommy's a fucking cheap bastard? He's got a really nice projectile. Oh, wow. <laughs> the slaughter! Just throwing out Ukens. They're wising up against. They're blocking. Come on. Fucking... Let me hit... God damn it! Teleporting! Shit! I don't even know how the fuck I'm supposed to hit that! They vanish like as soon as I drop in! Shit! Oh my. Fuck you, putty. Wow, that was enough to dizzy me. Shit. Can I go back to fighting Shell Shock, please? He didn't jump around and fucking teleport. I'm gonna get my ass kicked by these putties now. Because they just won't fucking stop teleporting. And if I can't kill them, I don't get any health back. Yeah, someone's 
fucking, of course, somebody's gonna uvu me. That fucking program is a cancer that has no idea how to stay closed. Yeah, I go to shoot a fucking video, guess what? Somebody's gotta fucking send me Tumblr links I don't give a shit about. I really just oughta uninstall it, because I never use it anyway. Close. Close that fucking window all the damn time, and nothing ever stops it. Oh yeah, you get the um, Selector Zord now, because you got the Green Ranger, so you can pick between the Megazord, the Dragon Zord, or the Dragon Zord fighting mode, so I'm going to pick that one because you guys haven't seen it yet. So that one is a combination between the Yellow, Blue, and Black Ranger and the Green Ranger Zord to make a improved version of the Dragon Zord. It's probably one of the better characters in this game, I have lots of... He's really easy to kill bosses with. So Quarter Circle Forward is a Shoryuken. Or quarter circle one, rather. Um, quarter circle two. Um, I get off. Fires a uh, little crescent lasers from its head, and both of them uses the power drill to um, drill a fucking hole through. Them. And as you can see, that one's that move is cheap as hell. It's a lot easier to hit them with the power sword and still do a ton of damage. See, I've already dizzied him twice, and I've almost nearly got him dead. I don't think Goldar shows up here, thank god. Fucking, it's so annoying. Fucking fighting shit, and then he just shows up to torment you for like a minute or so. At least you get some health back after you make him run away. Oh wow, now I'm dizzy. That should not have hit him, but oh well. Yeah, I, the hitboxes are a little out of whack, but it's an 8-bit Game Gear game, what do you expect? So yeah, I won that one pretty easily, even though it was close. So yeah, stage clear. My next monster is unbeatable. Be prepared for the worst. Paludicorn. Ugh. Such a bad pun up. I'll pick yellow because I haven't been here yet either so I can have a chance to play as all of them. So her quarter circle one is a d high dagger toss, her quarter circle two is a low dagger toss, and both is a, um, shit, every time I try to do special moves, it's like lagging all of a sudden here, is a, um, quick double slash with her daggers. We're just kind of dancing around right now, not really hitting each other. I don't want to get too close because those putties almost fucked me up last round. Yellow is one of my worst characters. I should have played as her first in the earlier levels. I always do that as I play as the Blue Ranger first, but then I want to play as all the Rangers. But I'm really good with blue, but I'm really crap with like yellow and red. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, you see that? He just flew down! He's flying down to slash me and then. Oh wow, this shit's annoying. I, see, I'm dizzied, I can't do anything. Oh, oh, so you're gonna stay and fight now for once and just fucking doing that shit? It's fucking kicking my ass. I think it's really laggy now. I think that might have something to do with fraps. Good thing is I'm almost done with this game. There's only like one level left. So, yeah, it's a pretty short game. health back. Oh, they're gonna do this teleporting shit again. Or, at least there's only two of them, but I've got half my health to fight Blue Unicorn. He's actually pretty speedy, so... Oh, this is not going well for me. I'm probably gonna lose. I'm gonna pick a different Ranger if I lose. I might not lose. Getting in there really good now. Oh, shit, I just had to jinx it! Fuck. But did you see that? I managed to just cheese them all the way down to, like, less pass health. <sighs> I'm just gonna pick blue, because blue's actually pretty good. He's got a, you know, that the charger's his lance. You 
know, it stops them from doing that. You can close the gap and attack at the same time. Except when they block it, and then they just run through it after they block. Like, stop blocking, goddamn. They're putties, they're not supposed to be good at fighting. Hopefully Goldar doesn't. If Goldar hadn't fucked around with me like that, I probably would've won the first time. Fucking swooping back and forth. As soon as I get up, a putty comes, kicks me in the face, teleports away, Goldar swoops down. It's like, there's not much I can do about that. Because, like, if this, you know, if this game had a block button, this would be fucking... See, now I'm stunned. I can't do anything. I can't block. I mean, it's not like I'm an idiot and there's a way to block, I just don't know how to do it. There's no way to block because in single player or when you're playing. The AI can block and they'll fucking abuse that shit. You gonna run away now? Good, now I've got full health to take on Blue See, I'm much better as Blue than I am with fucking Yellow. I can't get shit done. Like, Yellow's got basically the same special move twice, except the height is different. I mean, it's not really all that useful when the characters are so big anyway. Usually an upper one will be enough to hit pretty much anything. It's not like Mortal Kombat where you can, you know, ducking really makes a difference and there's a really a reason to have. Still not going so well, it's going better than it was before I just got more health. Come on, you bastard, die. I think you might have underestimated me. Uh, it would have been better if it hit him, had more hits on it. Come on, die, you son of a bitch. Can't really combo people in this game. Oh, he's gonna die. Whew! Cool. Blue wins. And, yep. Of course, what, what else would you do, Rita? No, you're gonna shrink the monster. So, I'm gonna pick the Dragon's Art this time, just so you can see what he does when the player controls him, even though I prefer the fighting mode. Yeah, no special, he just summons him. So, his quarter circle one is a, um, the tail drill spins. It's kind of at a weird angle to hit shit at, unless you're right on top. Quarter circle two makes you jump in the air and do that round pound move, which is really nice. And both of them does the uh, finger missiles. Which look really wimpy on this one. I'm just gonna try to ground pound him to death. Oh wow, way to jump right into the fucking thing. Tommy, you shouldn't fucking pilot or use a dragon dagger when you're fucking drunk. Somehow I just managed... Did I manage to... I could have swore that was the blocking frame for a second there, but I swear you cannot block in this game. Because the Game Gear only has three buttons, and one of them's pause. But you can block?! When the f You have to hold one and two and hit back. It's not like in Street Fighter or something where you can just hit back, or Mortal Kombat where there's a block button. There's just... Yeah, see, I'm blocking. Well, shit, that would have been handy to know. I've been playing this game for over ten years, and I just now found out you can block. I mean, I never had a manual or anything, but jeez. Wow, I really feel like an idiot for saying prior that there's no blocking in this game. There is, but why do you need to hold two buttons to do it? Why can't it just be if you're holding back, it works? Like, if you're going to do it like that... Because even the... Power Rangers game on Mega Drive has it where, um, it's just hold back and you block. And that one only uses two buttons. Weird. 
Wow, I completely feel like an idiot, but that would have been really handy to know about, like, all the other times I've played through this game. Yep, final level. Fight Cyclopsis. Pick Tommy. This level's kind of like a... You fight different colored versions of all the bosses, except they've got less health. So just do a, kind of a boss rush. That's the word I was looking for. I couldn't think of it. God, I shouldn't try to do these things when it's like 11 o'clock. I'm tired. I have to actually get up tomorrow morning to accept a job offer, so... Oh well. It's not until 10 I can sleep a little. I haven't been able to sleep in it all this fucking week. Yeah, but thankfully, Green Ranger's pretty cheap, so... And they don't have a lot of health. Come on! Yeah, you can block, but you have to hold both buttons. I would have never thought to do that, I'm just... Why can't it just be hold back? Oh, fuck you, Gold! Okay, I thought he was gonna start doing that flying shit again. Now I just have to beat him. Alright, just stand there, I'll just throw Hadoukens. Can't fucking do anything! <laughs> Crotch. Makes up for fucking Tommy beating the shit out of me earlier, I guess. I think you actually have to empty his health this time, which is the first. Yeah, you. Ooh. Fucking dick to the face. Yeah, that sequence is over. Would make sense, yeah, because Goldar pilots Cyclopsis. This evil Zord. Whoosh. It's kind of cool how it lights up like that, and then it actually, instead of being a silhouette, it you see the entire full-colored sprite. I wonder if the other big sprites have color, it's just they're not ever shown. I'm gonna pick Dragon Zord fighting mode, because I know for a fucking fact Cyclopsis is a cheap fucking son of a bitch. Yeah, you fight in the city at night, which is Yeah, fucking shit like that. God damn sometimes. Cyclopsis was actually, um... In the TV show, their fight with Cyclopsis was supposed to be, like, the series finale back when it was only 40 episodes. But the show was too popular for them to just cancel it right there. So, of course, they made 20 more episodes for season one, and uh, Power Rangers is still on the air today. Many different iterations, but... Yeah. Kick him in. Oh man, this might go on. Come on! Oh, I might get this in the bag. Might. Don't want to jinx it, though. I think I might have jinxed it. Oh, damn it! Come on! Yeah, I'm done. I'm fucking dizzied. Wow, what a bitch. Yeah, I'm gonna continue that. Dragons are fighting mode again. Kinda weird how it has its sprite where it flashes like it's... I mean, I know the Megazord has that, but that's because it rolls in the battle unformed. But this one already walks in formed, so what's the point? God damn, that fucking crown laser is really hard to avoid. I'm just gonna shove my drill up his ass. Like this. Gotta fight. It's like, yeah, it's cheap, but if you don't, the enemies will fucking destroy you. Even on easy. This game's hard. Damn! Get up! Wake up! Come on! Yes. 
Oh, almost got him. Ah, stop blocking, boar. Oh! See, that's why I fucking love that spear, is because it's just fucking... I so should not have hit him with that, but I did, so... It's fucking awesome. So, yeah, I've... One, beat the game. <laughs> I won't forget this, Power Rangers. Someday, somewhere, I'll give. You mean next episode? Where the fuck is Tommy at? Now and forever, use your power for world peace. Oh shit! Can you expect them to do anything else? And then. Got your credits. So, this is me playing through a very hard um, Game Gear game. So, yeah, I don't know really why I did this. Just maybe test out fraps, editing, things like that. I hope you had fun. Wish I could have made this funnier, except, you know. Helps if I don't record it at 11 in the morning and just trying my hard is to win, so. Um, I don't know what I'll do next. Um, any recommendations? Doesn't have to be for Let's Play, just videos in general. Um, just post a comment or send me a PM. Just try to keep it civil. So, I'll see you guys later.